Hello, today let's briefly summarize how the linear regression work. In machine learning, supervised learning, there are two big categories. One is the classification and the other is regression. The main difference is that the classification always predict in predefined categorical classes, while the regression output is continuous and numerical. For example, color classifier in this example is classification and the height prediction based on the weight is regression. Specifically, linear regression predicts output by fitting a linear equation to observed data. So here is a quiz. How do you think which linear line is more likely to true height? Some of you say left green line is better predict line and some of you may not have answer yet. Then can you answer which one is better? Absolutely, left linear line is better than right one since the left line has all the true height while the right side linear line doesn't have all observations. We can say left linear line is better since it has maximum likelihood estimate of the parameter of the linear equation. Mathematically, we can define error is the distance between the actual data point to our linear line and you again can see left linear error is zero while the right side linear has some errors. Instead of distance, we can use a square error, so we can exaggerate errors in our naked eyes and easy gradient calculation in later step. Okay, now we understand how to find better linear line. So let's answer this question. Can we prove why the green line is better than this red line in the right chart? Yes, using mean square error, which is average of the square error, we can see green line has less average of square error. Now, how can you code to find the best linear equation? This is advanced question than just pick better line, since we, can, we now only need best line with only given data points here. Well, we can redefine this issue mathematically like uh, find the linear equation has least mean square error. As we, did, uh, as we demonstrated here, uh, the error is distance between our line and the real observed data. Here hx is our linear equation stands for hypothesis given x. Square error is just error squared value and here is the equation. Mean square error is average of square error, so it is square error over the count of the observed data. Here video, we will use gradient descent to find the linear uh, least value of the mean square error. FYI, the mean square error function is cost function we want to minimize and the minimizing cost function is our objective. Sometimes we call it objective function. Okay, now we will see how gradient descent work to minimize our mean square error by adjusting parameter of our linear equation. Here the parameter is data, so suppose our linear equation is data x. Gradient descent will update data using given equation here. Data will be data minus learning rate times derivative of the mean square error. Don't panic, I will demonstrate shortly now. So before start gradient descent, we must initialize learning rate and data. Uh, let's use point 1 as learning rate and 1 as data. You can see from the left chart that the derivative of the mean square error is greater than 0. Well, since learning rate and the data both greater than 0, well, the next data we'll try will be smaller than the current data. Um, we will repeat this step until our objective function converges. Here the objective function means cost function which is our mean square error and the converging, converging means the mean square error is near the minimum point. Suppose the output from the initial step was uh, data is 0.7. We run second step with data as 0.7. And as you can see here, the gradient in left chart is greater than 0. So data in the next step will be smaller than 0.7. Suppose in step 50, the data is 0.6. And you may recognize the red boxes in the right, uh, right side chart are getting smaller. Suppose in step 200, 
theta is 0.5 and our mean square error converged. Can you see the difference between the step 1 and the step 200 here? You can see the linear line in the right chart has less errors and fit in, the near, uh, fit in near the observed data point. This is how to implement linear regression and using this linear regression and the linear equation, uh, you can predict unobserved data. Uh, here is bonus track. What if we have more data in linear equation, like given left chart? This is normal situation than our simple example, but the way to find the best uh, uh, linear equation is just the same. You can use the gradient descent in given data 0 and data 1 and update this simultaneously until converge. Here is a second bonus. How do we decide learning rate? Well, the rule of thumb is not to use a very large number or the very small number, since if the learning rate is too small, uh, gradient descent will take a lot of time, and if the learning rate is too high number, then the data value will jump around and may not be converged. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.